Hey, what's up everyone? Jimmy Lee, Raw Fishing. Today, I'll be doing a challenge, challenged by my brother, Justin Fluke Fishing, and he challenged me to catch a fish using his dog's fur. Shut up. Let me, borrow, let me borrow this from you for a sec. All right. See this tuft of hair? Jimmy, I challenge you to make a fishing lure out of Shyla's fur and catch some fish with it. He has an awesome looking hus uh, Siberian Husky and he gave me some fur so I tied a pretty cool looking jig right here. It's straight up her undercoat right here so it's uh, very nice and fluffy w white. I use a red string uh, so I added kind of like a gill. Um, injured a uh, bait fish so hopefully I'll catch some fish this morning. I'm fishing at Brandywine Creek in Wilmington, Delaware and um, there's going to be a special guest today so stay tuned. Man, this dog hair challenge is real. It's a freaking challenge. Oh yeah, there's a lot of those. You catch probably a lot of those all day. Oh, got a nice smolly. Got a nice smolly. Oh, right in the husky jig right there. There's another, oh no, dude. Oh, dude, right on the husky jig, man. Husky fur. Leo's catching fish with no bait over there. Silly guy. Leo's micro fishing. I could barely see that bait, but it's a small little bait. Look at this guy. I just turned on my camera and Leo picks up a fish. He's micro fishing right now. Yeah, micro fishing at its best. <laughs> that one's too, too big. All right. Hey guys, so I got my drive bag today because I will be waiting. So I got to put my camera stuff, my keys and everything inside this drive bag. But let me show you guys what I have in my drive bag here. Something that people don't think about is when you need to go do your business. So I got one for the porty potties, especially some places that have porta potties like at boat ramps. They could be really, really dirty. And sometimes when I am in the woods and I really need to get my business down, you gotta have to use one of these guys right here. Hopefully we won't be using any of these guys today. Look at that blue gill right there. I can see him. Oh, look at that smallie. He saw my lure, but he didn't get it because Oh, oh yes. First fish. First fish with dog hair. Yes. Look at that. Husky hair. Husky fur. Oh man, look at that. Ho oh, ho. I got a smallmouth bass. Check out this hook right here. <laughs> this, this is husky hair right there. Husky hair, huh? Yeah. It's gonna be a fun challenger channel, dude. Yep, I'm trying to catch a bigger one now. Good stuff, good stuff. Back in you go. Oh, no. Ooh, Ooh sorry about that, bud. Oh, no, no, no. No. I need that. I can't do my challenge without it. Do I have to walk in there? 
dude looks like i have to walk in there for my bait because i am not losing that i only got like two more oh man these are super soft mud I am I can't I can't get in there. Ah oh, that sucks. My casting skill sucks guys. Ah oh, it's hanging right there. Ugh. Be extra careful, Jimmy Lee. Extra careful, Jimmy Lee. Wow, that's a nice molly. No, that's a snakehead. Holy smokes, northern snakehead. That is snakehead. Leo Shang. Dude, Brandy Wine got snakeheads. Oh man. All right, second species. No, still, wait, wait, it is. It's a largemouth bass on the dog hair. Dog fur, man. Oh, got a fish. Oh, another smallmouth bass. Oh, look, there's a big red breast right there. Yes. He'll, get, he'll hit it. He hit me a couple of times. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, we eat a No. That's no red breast sunfish. Th that's green, right? Dude, that's a hybrid. A dude. hybrid? That's a hybrid. Look at that. Check this out, man. Yeah, that's a hybrid between a bluegill and a green sunfish. Wow, what an interesting find, huh? Guys, when identifying hybrids, right? As I always tell people, you got the green sunfish right here, right? You got vertical bars right here, signature of the bluegill, and you got a little bit ah. of blue on the operculum, right? So this is indeed a bluegill green sunfish hybrid. So Guys, the key of catching fish in the Brandywine Creek, especially these shallow water, is actually light jigs. Uh, I didn't have any light jigs yesterday night when I decided to come out here. I decided to use uh, 1 16th, which is the lightest I got. Uh, and with these hair jigs, that uh, makes it super light without soft plastic. It sinks really, really fast. So next time I do this challenge again at the Brandywine Creek, what I will do is I will be using a 30 second ounce so that it could comb the water column effectively because it's hitting bottom quite often. I lost one to the rocks and one was just poor casting. So, lessons learned. Oh, look at it. That. that small mouth bass is so quick. He came around and tried to snatch my, uh, snatch my lure or something. Oh shoot, look at that eel! There's an eel in front of me! Holy smokes! I don't know if you guys saw that, that's a freaking brown eel! Oh! 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 Ew! Slip. I slipped onto poop! Look at that, my hand's full of bird poop, man. Ugh. Disgusting. Back to my soft plastic box. I do see some good smallmouth there, but the bait fish here are a lot smaller. So I'm gonna stick with some of these right here. Crappy Max from Bass Pro Shops. It's supposed to be like one inch or two inch. Grub tails, all right. 
and I'm gonna land some smallmouth bass now. Stay tuned. Oh, here goes one. All right, the smallmouth bass. Stay still, buddy. All right. I'm gonna get me a bigger one. I see him. I hooked on the two, but I lost both of them. These little tail nippers are gonna be troublesome all day, man. What the heck just hit me? Are you still on? Oh, you still on? All right. Got a smallmouth bass here. Man, he wanted this lure. It's three inches. It's like a three inch uh, walleye lure from Bass Pro Shops. All right. Oh, got a fish right there. Got another smallmouth bass. Shake off, please. No, you don't want to shake off. Oh. In you go, buddy. Well, let me cover some grounds here. Don't know what's going on. These guys are just chilling look i see some fish chasing me look at that you can see a mile away and boom i got him these smallies got some amazing eyes not to mention the water here is ultra clear until i um walk all over it but man he saw that thing a mile away Oh, look at that jump. Beautiful jump. I hooked on a, maybe a, a nice one last time here. Oh, this is a better one. And panfish. Oh, it is a panfish. Now I foul hooked them. I think, yes I did. But he hit it. This is probably a hybrid sunfish. Bluegill green. Bluegill green. Gotta ask Leo about this. Well, let's find out what Don't look like any musky today. Oh, yeah. Actually, what's this one? I think this is uh, one of the fish that I caught earlier today. Just wallowed down. I'm not sure though, so. Yeah, it looks like it. Wait, this one looks a little bit different, man. I don't know. It's there. It's hard to identify this smaller right. species, you know? Right, it's like so familiar with everything. At first, Far, far away, I was like, is that a creek chub? But when I looked closer to the head, I was like, uh-uh. Yeah, I think this is a swallowtail. I will take a shot though and send it to my friend. Snakehead! Dang, look at that snakehead right there. Snakehead. Snakehead. Snakehead! Snakehead! Oh yeah! Woo! What? Snakehead! Oh. Yes! Woo! Oh, oh yeah! Got him! Got the snakehead! No way! 
Woo! Yes! Holy moly, let me, let me check that out! All yes! Brandy, in the brandy wine! Dude! Look at that! They're really here! They're what? here, man! Holy moly! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Easy snake hat! I know, right? That is nuts, man! Holy smokes! Holy cow, no, we're gonna take a shot of that fish, man! Okay! Hell yeah! Alright! Oh, musky! Musky! I found a musky! Ski, ski, ski! Oh man, that's a nice musky! I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, wait. It's a tiger musky. Ah, it's too bad, too bad. Look at that tiger musky. See that tiger musky right there, guys? I got snagged, so I gotta take a walk, walk in there. Dang, but that's a tiger musky. That is a tiger musky. Woo. It's one hot day, guys. I just got done fishing, and it was a fun day, fishing with Leo, and man, it's just hot out here, but what I, I'm happy about today is that I was able to complete the challenge that my brother set for me. So Dave, this challenge is completed. I caught a couple fish using Shyla's fur. And those who don't know Shyla, it's the husky that my brother has uh, groomed and given me some of her fur. So um, yeah, challenge completed. I'm hoping to do it again probably somewhere else um, with a little different style. So stay tuned for more videos on fishing with husky fur. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Peace out. And there goes Leo Shang, still trying to fish. You go Leo Shang. <laughs>